If you need a macro in Excel, you don't always have to create them from scratch. You can often find sample code on the internet that you can use in your own workbooks. Here we have a pivot table and the values have come in as count of quantity and count of total price because there are some blank cells in the source data. And that's a common problem and something you'd like to fix quickly. I'm going to the Excel pivot table blog at pivot-table.com and in this article, change all pivot table value fields to sum. If I scroll down, there's some sample code here that I can use. Now this is just a regular macro. It's not a worksheet change or workbook change code that I would have to place in a special module in the workbook. This is just a regular macro and it's telling me here that I can copy it to a regular code module. I'm going to select all of that, starting with sub, going down to end sub, and then I'll copy it. So the keyboard shortcut, control C, will copy that for me. I'll go back to Excel. Here's the workbook where I'd like to be able to use that code. I will have to put this in the Visual Basic Editor. And to open that, the shortcut is the Alt key and F11. So here at the left, we can see the names of all the workbooks that are open. And here's the one where I want to paste the code. I can see Excel objects. So those are the sheets and the workbook. And we need to put in a regular module. To do that, on the toolbar, click Insert module. Now we've got a modules folder and module one and the cursor is flashing here at the top of module one. If you do this in your own workbook you might not see option explicit but don't worry about that. Here where the cursor is flashing I'm going to paste so on the toolbar I'll click paste and there's the code that I copied. Now if we just take a quick look at this code it is going to work on the active sheet and on that sheet pivot tables one and then it will change all the functions to excel sum so whether they were sum already or count max whatever do all the value fields will be changed to sum so i'm going to go back to excel click file close and return to microsoft excel now on the ribbon go to the view tab and at the right just click the top part of this macros button and then this shows a list of all the macros. There's the one that we just copied. We can see here we've got count for both value fields. I'm going to click run. And now we, both of those have been changed to sums. In a big workbook, this will be a real time saver or in a pivot table with lots of fields that were count that we want to change to sum. Now that we've added a macro to this workbook though, we might have to change the way it's saved. If we look at this one, it's pivot change sum dot xlsx. So this is just a regular workbook. We would have to save this so it will keep the macros. So if I go to file, save as, Here's the file we have open in its name. So instead of Excel workbook, I'm going to select macro enabled workbook. So it uses the same name and a different extension. Now it will be XLSM. I'll click save and we can see that the title bar has changed. So now it's XLSM. So copy and paste code from the internet or other sources into your workbook. Most of the code can go into a regular module and then save the workbook as macro enabled. For more Excel tips and tutorials, please go to my Contextures website, www.contextures.com.